Hi, everybody. This is Lori Larson again. How are you? <laughs> Today is day 12 of my 30 day video challenge. And uh, wow, it seems to be flying by. So, what did I want to talk about today? Do you guys want to know? <laughs> well, you know what I talked in the video the other day about coming out and just deciding that I wasn't going to be embarrassed or ashamed or uh, feel silly about the way I deal with things with regards to my body, you know, choosing to use, um, ask my body questions, um, uh, just to even do whatever crazy shit that even though alternative stuff is much more open and accepted and so on today, uh, people are, you know, it, I mean, massages are now just really mainstream. Um, whereas, you know, not that long ago, people, even people were kind of like, ooh. <laughs> so I've always got to be on the leading edge of ooh <laughs> with my stuff. So uh, what I found really interesting is since I talked about that um, when I was getting out of my vehicle and going into work the other day and my body being, my legs being sore and that if I, I when I asked what the upset was in my world, cause I did feel upset about that. I realized that it was cause I was, like I said before, uh, concerned about what other people were thinking uh, about anything, you know, me being at work, um, you know, being uncomfortable with me being uncomfortable cause they care about me. Uh, uh, you know, um, just that and more, right? You know, me wishing that I was moving faster because I remember how I used to and I don't right now. Just all of that, you know, wishing that this would hurry up and go away. And so without all of that judgment of myself and the wrongness of what my body was is choosing or doing right now, and without giving a shit what other anyone else thinks, there was no problem. Okay. And I've been really looking at that, you know, cause with the way my body's been lately, um, there's been a lot of invitations to be in the fricking moment, you know, like when you have discomfort and you want to get yourself across from the kitchen to the bedroom or the bedroom to the bathroom or get in and out of the tub or, you know, whatever, um, it provides an awful lot of moments for me to be frustrated with myself, to judge myself, to uh, wonder what someone else is thinking, uh, whatever. And since I've really sat with that, like kind of got to the bottom of it and realized what it was for me, I'm able to take care of it, which is really fucking cool. So when I'm in those moments and I'm judging my body, I'm like, damn, you know, I wish it was better. I wish it was this. How come it still hurts? It's uncomfortable. You know, I feel weak. I can't even, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hey, whoa, you know, what is that creating? It, judgment destroys. Judgment destroys, guys. It really, truly does. It destroys you. It destroys. It's actually more destructive then a lot of these things that are being created around the world, you know, the global, the like oil in the oceans or, you know, using, not using re or recycling or using plastics and uh, just different things like that. Do you know how destructive, incredibly destructive judgment is? And as we continue to judge ourselves, even in those little moments, walking across a floor, that actually is destructive to us, our body, and the world. And what if us choosing something different changes the world? So, I, you know, sit there for just a second, and I want you to just, like, kind of focus in on your body. Okay, think of something that bothers you with your body. You know, whether it's your knees or your feet or you've got a headache or something like that, and you're just like, oh, just do that. Just, oh, I hate that that's like that. Now, do you feel light, um, expansive? Do you feel yummy or do you feel heavy, contracted? Do you know, um, for me, I feel contracted in my body. I feel heavy. I feel, you know, it's like I want to give up. I feel pointless, okay? So I'm like, hey, 
now try this with your body. Okay, it's like, hey, body, what's this headache about? What's this knees about? You know, I wonder what's going on here. I wonder what you're trying to tell me, body. What are you reading? Now, when you're in that space, do you feel lighter or do you feel contracted? Like, really play with this, people. Like that, this is information. You know, and I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys, okay? After how many years of being, working in the hospital, being a, a huge head tripper, you know, got to use the brain, um, huge overthinker to try and, you know, because it was the best I knew how to do to control what was going on, to try and make things better. Um, what I've discovered now is that the energetics of things is where the magic happens. And so when we actually invite ourselves to just those little moments and we go, hey, so truth, you know, buddy, what's going on here? What are you trying to tell me with this headache or this knee pain or this back pain or this fatigue that I keep, you know, having? Like, what's really going on? And then actually being vulnerable with yourself, really, truly honest with yourself. And listen for the awareness of what's going on for you. I wonder what else is possible. So when I slowed myself down, or, you know, to hear what was actually going on for me in those moments when I was getting out of my vehicle, feeling upset, what was really going on was my judgment of my body and worrying about what other people thought. And when I realized that that's a choice, that's actually a choice, guys, to be upset with my body, to judge my body. It's a choice to care what other people think. And that when I actually choose something different in each of those situations, and I actually honor me, honor my body, and it doesn't have to be like a, you know, a fuck you to other people. It can be just a hell yeah to you. And do you know, and I may have said this on one of my other videos, but you are a gift. And when you choose for you, like when you truly choose for you with the kindness and the honoring, the vulnerability for you, you are creating more in this world. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that felt really freaking light when I said that. <laughs> so that's where I'm going, people. Onwards and upwards to that light, <laughs> expansive, and what creates more for me, my life, my body, and the world. So anyways, uh, thanks. This was really fun today. Um, again, if you guys want to subscribe, <laughs> you can get more brilliance. You can see my bright, shiny face, you know, glowing in the light. It's surprising because it's overcast today, but yet it looks like I've got sun in my face. So I'm just like a sunbeam. <laughs> so you guys have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. How does it get any better than this? And what else is possible? And just know that if I can move out of the crazy and find ease, joy, and, you know, nuttiness with having discomfort in my body, you guys really, you can have it too. Like really. All right. So you guys take care. I'll see you tomorrow for day lucky 13. <laughs> Bye.